What's up people? This is Survivor Gear. Today we will be talking about flashlight click placement. For those that don't bother much about their flashlights, this will mean very little. But for those out there that are into flashlights, this might be something of interest. Here are some flashlights with different clip and switch combination and I have a clip placement order for them. Which the place of the clip will tell me where to hold the torch that is comfortable to hold and easy access to the switch. The types. Uh, these are the types with the clips that screw to the body. Now for this kind, basically, I don't do anything. <laughs> There's nothing much to be done, so I just leave them alone. For twisty, well, there's no obstruction or anything. I don't see a reason to do anything, so I leave you alone as well. Um, for type of this type of back switch, because there's no obstruction as well, so I don't do anything. Then for this type, a back switch but with some obstruction as you can see here and for operating this on flashlight uh, in general you will want to click it this way compared to this way I mean he'll be more comfortable compared to we have to you know you have to press into the, the metal part so I will align the clip with the gap here, as you can see. This way the marker, because I always hold the flashlight this way. You see? So in the dark, when you try to dig your flashlight out of your pocket, you can't see anything, you always go to this position. I mean, at least for me. Because, well, this is my placement order. It's most comfortable, comfortable in this position. And for this, um, with a switch at the back, some obstruction and multiple switch. I'm not sure if you can see. Same thing, you want to press the switch at a more comfortable position as compared to this, uh, this obstruction. But because there are multiple buttons, This one and this one. I'll make it such that uh, you see is to operate in this way. Left and right is easier, easier than up and down. But these are the two obstruction in here. So my finger placement in here is is the best and so I align the clip and as usual I'll carry it only this way you see and for the switch in the body like this and this it will always be here
as some people like to put it directly below maybe here I find it a bad choice one is simply when this thing is being placed in your pocket you see if the clip is here and the button is here so here will be your body yeah there will be a lot of chance of it there's um, accidental upper, I mean awning the light because it's in your body I mean it's in contact with the body as compared if I put it here yeah you know, this will be the body this will be the, the pocket the chance of activation will be far less of course maybe your hand you accidentally hit this part but the chance of that happening well will not be as great as if the button is here that is in contact with the body and this position is comfortable to hold you see it'll be here here as you can see for me there are two positions when I'm holding a torch for side switch I'll be always holding it this way because the clip when it's here is the most comfortable compared to if it's anywhere else here will be the most most comfortable position and because my all my torch is the clips are all in this position I will know that the button is always just right beside it. for the switch at the back the clip will always be here because I'm I will always holding it this way you see here is to me is the most comfortable position and the finger will be here somehow in between the obstructions but because I mean for this this torch there are two buttons so well I kind of have to edit a little bit because as what I've said earlier um, to move your thumb left and right is easier than up and down you can try it yourself um, let's see yeah if I'm using a smaller one yeah it's most comfortable this way though the result may be different depend on the size of the torch and the clip itself well you can try it out yourself If you have any questions uh, about my videos, do post it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. With that, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.